I'm Maureen Feynman. And I'm Heather McCune Brun. In this week's module, we're going to be talking about rock crystal or the mineral that uh, geologists commonly refer to as quartz. So first of all, let's start with a couple of definitions. Uh, what is a crystal? So a crystal is defined as a repeating structure of atoms uh, that it's repeated over and over again in order to create an internal structure uh, to a given material. When you hear the word crystal, you might immediately be drawn to thinking about things like this glass that go on your table um, for things like drinking and filling with flowers and jelly dishes and such. This is when we say put the crystal on the table, typically what we're referring to. Uh, this crystal has sort of an interesting story to it because what it is is indeed not a crystal at all. This is a form of leaded glass. And uh, glass is a material that is made primarily out of silicon and oxygen, the same uh, that quartz is, uh, but is different in that it is what we call an amorphous material. Amorphous meaning that it lacks any sort of internal structure like a repeating uh, pattern of atoms that would give it the definition of a crystal. So this crystal is not a crystal, but we call it crystal because it was initially developed in order to replicate uh, some very rare and expensive pieces of glassware, so so to speak, that are were carved from what we call rock crystal. Now, rock crystal, like I have in my hand here, is indeed a crystal. It's the mineral quartz, SiO2, uh, this is one form of SiO2 in the crystalline structure here. And quartz can take on a number of different colors and clarities and uh, optical properties. But when it has this nice, pure, water clear color to it, we call it rock crystal. And it was this rock crystal that was used for carvings and vessels in antiquity, as Heather can tell yes. you about. Well, and the in, in the antique period, the the Greeks and Romans uh, believed that rock crystal like this was actually an incredibly pure form of ice, uh, ice that had formed in the heavens, and because they associated with it with ice, they uh, particularly favored drinking vessels for cold liquids and would not put hot liquids into their rock crystal. Um, and they also uh, noted its, uh, its optical qualities. They would uh, often make vessels that looked like bunches of grapes. And then when they filled them with wine, the color, this clear color of the crystal would take on the color of its contents. And so that was one of a number of properties that were particularly favored. And we're going to explore those properties when we get to the art history portion.